Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jeff with Develop, and this is a walkthrough of Rome and its included modifiers. What's different about these premier preset packs is everything that's contained within them is based around the main preset. And in this case, that preset is Rome. Let's apply it to this image. You'll see it looks real nice. Um, it handles shadows and lights and retains this really warm, beautiful skin tone. Uh, and all of the modifiers here, I'm going to run through one at a time. Some of them are quite straightforward, some of them are a little bit tricky. Beginning with After Sun, this is one of the trickier ones. So I'm going to give you a quick explanation as to what it's doing. Now based on what Gabe McClintock likes to photograph, um, I know that he loves to photograph after the sun sets um, in shady scenarios at blue hour. Uh, and you get real beautiful skin tones when you shoot at that time and let's say you increase the white balance or you warm it up a bit. So after sun, let's apply it on this image. You'll see it simulates that blue hour feel. Um, and while I actually feel this looks really nice in this scenario, the point of the modifier is to actually warm it up and get those warm uh, skin tones and the same colors that you would get if you do shoot in blue hour uh, and then increase the white balance. So let's reset this. Back to Rome. Uh, you can look here on the histogram, you can see that there's no true black in Rome. If you click on blacks deepen, now you have a true black. So everything in here is true black. If you click on blacks lift, you can see that black point was raised quite a bit. Uh, and the other really cool modifier here is Gabe's new finisher. Uh, and this emulates a multi-step process that he used to go through in Photoshop to finish his images. Um, and I'll show you how this works. So let's apply Rome here and let's click on the finisher. And what's cool about this is up here in the profile space is you can actually reduce and increase the amount of effect the finisher has. Um, the other great thing about finisher is it doesn't affect any of your basic panel settings, your tone curve settings, your HSL, anything you've done in here. Um, it's completely independent of that. So let's go to Rome again. Uh, Party Flash will brighten up skin tones, brighten up shadows. This is what Gabe would use in a scenario where he's using a direct flash, uh, dancing, any kind of scenario like that. Uh, recover highlights, shadows, these are very straightforward. Uh, but they don't just use, say, the highlights and the shadow slider. They do a combination between these and some tone curve trickery. Uh, let's look here at the highlights maybe in the waterfall in the background. We can recover that. We can recover the shadows on the image. Uh, and another cool modifying uh, option here is the shadow color. So we can change this to blue shadows, green shadows, or red shadows. And I know that Gabe uses these uh, a lot depending on the scenario. Uh, these are great because they don't actually affect any of the split toning that you might have modified or changed or added to an image. It's completely independent of that. So let's add the blue um, and let's put a finisher on top of this. So most of these are stackable. So let's reset one more time. All right, let's click on Rome. Let's go through and maybe add some blue shadows here and apply the finisher on top. Uh, let's lower the opacity of that a tiny bit. And I think this looks really nice. So there's a lot of ways that you can use Rome. There's a lot of ways you could apply the modifiers. It's very, very versatile. It uh, could be used in almost any situation. And there's a lot of ways to switch it up for uh, your taste, your own personal taste. So please share what you're doing with Rome. Join our Facebook group, share there. Um, show us on Instagram, hashtag develop, and we'll see you out there.